much for joining us here on Bottom Line Africa. Now, starting with that story, the fact that law enforcement agencies have used an app to arrest hundreds of criminals. Is it really a double-edged sword? Can be used against them? Um, I think at the end of the day, what we want is the criminals caught. So the uh, security agencies, they will go to all man of heights just to make sure that we get the people that are situated or the people who have done this. So at this point, it's not, no more of a double-edged sword, but I think it's more of what can we do to get to the criminals? All right. Um, so let's now bring it closer home, specifically in Kenya. How effective are our laws in terms of cybersecurity? Uh, we just had a new uh, commissioner of data protection who was brought into, uh, who was sworn into office of late. And so right now we are working on how to make sure that Kenya's law, especially when it comes to cybersecurity, is observed and we make sure that everybody is able to know what's happening regardless of your technicality or regardless of uh, where you are in the industry so we are getting there we are making baby steps but i can only say kenya we are we are moving in the right direction so what else needs to be done i said baby steps so let's make those big steps but how exactly do we get there um, one of the things that we need to do is sensitization of the public and also sensitization of most companies and organizations. Uh, I think what we say in the, in the, in the cybersecurity world, your weakest link is uh, the person next to you. So what happens is these people don't really understand what's happening in the cybercrime or in the cybersecurity world. We need to have sensitization programs that will enable people to understand what happens. Very simple courses, very simple uh, things that should be made mandatory in organizations, and maybe once in a while we can even just let the uh, local public just know what cyber security crime is. You, you say people need to know what exactly happens. What happens? I'm, I'm imagining you know how a criminal thinks. So how do they go about it? Um, a good example, most criminals, or what happens, what we see in the industry right now is uh, email finching or people bringing your devices to work. Now, this same device that you bring to work is what you go to the house with or to your friends and, you know, watch movies, share a photo. And one way or the other, you are able to be, uh, to be attacked with a virus or a malware. That device comes into the office, hops into the network, and guess what? Just like that, your entire network has been compromised. So what we 